Hi. So I want to talk about the heat wave in 2022 and also hear your point of view, because what I'm sharing is what I know more about my country, but I don't know how others are dealing with that stuff. You know, you know, you might be in America or UK or elsewhere, you're getting the heat wave, but also your government is trying to deal with this thing as well talking about the climate change, the carbon footprint emission and all the other stuff and the laws that have to change. Now I'm bringing it all up because I have an assumption and I can be completely wrong that this heat wave is artificially caused. I know like 10 years ago, I was into looking into this information about how governments had technology. And if I'm correct, the HARP H-A-A-R-P was used part of it to, you know, like control the weathers. A lot of the things, there's like articles, nerd stuff, and it could be conspiracy theories, but it's fine. But just, you know, like, hey, it's quite possible that, you know, like we had direct energy weapons and our technologies used to cause the whole Fukushima accident to change the weathers. I know, like, let's say Russia on May 9th, when they have this huge ass celebration, you know, they always have the most sunniest day and they can have like rains and everything else every single day on whatever occasion, but like May 9th, impossible to have like a bad weather. So I was like, no, oh, I wonder why, but maybe they're like really lucky. Anyway, I'm bringing this up because like in Lithuania, I know like they're really pushing on this, hey, we're green, we're trying to go for the alternative energy and like, like stop all this carbon footprint emission and all this stuff. So they're like, they're presenting new laws to tax, you know, fuel or who, who's ever gonna drive with cars that are not electric or hybrid. And even then like, oh, well by the 2030 or 2035 or 2040 or 2050, however we can afford that, only electric cars, no more gasoline, no more fuel, no more other stuff the end because they're trying to save the world and you know like great but that's one thing it's funny because it's pre like pretty much unachievable currently especially with inflation and other things and like Lafuina's being poor as can be most of them but then the other countries like i don't know what's going on in america i don't know the laws there or how governments are talking but you know like we have these like meetings of politicians and the government representatives that, are, that care about this world, hopefully they do, but it's like they're talking about how peasants, most people, should be paying taxes and like, hey, if you breathe air, you have to tax fucking air and breathing as like, oh, oh we're going a bit overboard, but it's so close to that, you know, like they're like, everything you do is bad. Don't you dare to fly a plane to another country because you're overdoing it. Meanwhile, we have like Greta Thunberg, you know, like going all green, telling the world, how dare you have any carbon emissions and all the CO2 coming up. My camera turned off, but now no worry. I'm still here. Yay. Ah, makes you wonder. Anyway, so like, all of these people that gather in the meetings to talk about saving the world from like this whole, you know, like, hey, let's go green, like uh, fuck fuel, fuck other things. Let's tax everyone that can possibly have any CO2 coming out and all. And the same people use jets, private planes to fly there, like 20 SUVs to get into one place to have a conversation about how they should save the world. And at the same time, this, heat wave coming up the most heat people have are in the countries and or states that are pushing some laws towards taxing people making some money off you trying to live and just get by but at the same time going green forcing like just population to go that way forcing people like oh like um i think it was uk there was like a little article where they talked about how they would like to have by 2035 to sort of like slash emissions by seven, like slash the CO2 emission by 70%, for example. It's like, yeah, good luck. Like, I, I wish the world was like that. But if we wanted alternative energy, we would have had a long time. It's just that someone's like really profiting from that. And anyway, I could go on. But I don't, it's like completely, this subject is completely out of my comfort zone. I talk about entities eh, getting out of body and afterlife and like other stuff like that. I don't go into politics. I don't go into the world. Maybe I should, 
But I'm wondering, like, because you live elsewhere and you might be experiencing the heat wave, have you noticed your government pushing laws and like talking about like how they're going to limit people? Like you should like have the like less CO2 emission, less other stuff and, you know, taxing people or forcing them to like go in the direction of like alternative energy, but not in a good way. So I'm like, yeah, I'm out for like saving earth and all stuff, but this whole, uh, just shut me up. Anyway, please share your point of view. And if you think that this whole heat wave is like, maybe, maybe it's not real. I said it is happening, but it's artificial. It's not natural. That's my point of view right now. I might be completely wrong, but you know, we'll see. So thank you for watching. I'm looking forward to reading your point of view and how your government is treating people or what they want to enforce on people. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.